Hello I'm Andy and today I want to showcase a build order featuring crossbows and pikes and maybe also some heavy cannons and yeah so this build order is basically you go to industrial age and then you send your crossbows and pikes and you get them to guard level and then you go so you try to so you don't have to kill your enemy with your first push um, but once you really get to your industrial age then it is pretty good I wouldn't say it's the best build order it used to be better um, but I but it's uh, fun to play I think so let's get into it so first up we want to start with the trading post we also so we go there immediately so we ideally get the first um, trade guy and get our XP this speeds up our H1 quite a bit and yeah so we want to, to get this and then we gather enough wood for ha for one house in this case I found a wood treasure which means I can I don't have to gather as much yeah but yeah but you're, you just sometimes in some maps you just have to gather 100 wood we want to go up at with 16 villagers we want to send our three settlers we want to send our capitalism and with 16 settlers we yeah we also um so when we are going up we want to send a few to the mine we're not sending any coin chests so we will need to gather all the resources we want to get to edge up so yeah also tre treasures help a lot so try to get as many as possible in h1 food is the most important and obviously wood before you build a house and once you transition you really need you ideally get some food and some coin I mean wood isn't as important but it's nice of course but focus on food and coin yeah so because this game is a bit slower so this build order is basically a fast industrial which means we want to go to industrial as soon as we can and then we want to send our powerful shipments so we have 24 crossbows 24 pikemen and we have a few caverns we also have our factories and if that's not enough we can or always send infinite lancers um, so that's pretty decent yeah so if you're playing against something aggressive you want to build an outpost in your base in your base means s and then you want to defend with the outpost and with the militia and maybe with the explorer um, you might also need to make some dogs um, in this game I'm playing against Portuguese which really cannot play that aggressive so I felt confident to just go forward really and see what's going on yeah so this also might put him off guard he thinks I'm going for some fortress age play which is something very common which you can do as Spain or which most Spain players do and yeah so in H2 we want to send our five villagers and our seven wood as uh, 700 wood with the 700 wood I typically get a market and get both the uh, both the upgrades and in this game I also get a church um, of course like if, if you're feeling pressured I would skip the church and I would rather like go for a few more houses so you're safe uh, in case you lose one I also go up with the covered wagon it's also very greedy you could also just go with eight crossbows or eight pikemen really um, I don't think they would help me much in this game so I chose the covered wagon I think once you get the covered wagon up to the town center it's also a better defense than eight crossbows I think so yeah, and also it gives you 10 population and yeah you're, you're not all in but it's also pretty greedy so I'm just doing that also Spanish gold 
is a card you always send. So with Spanish gold you are getting the last of your coin for the edge up. Um, I mean if you're under pressure you just send units of course. And, sec and the other card I always get is the 1000 wood. Because with the 1000 wood you can build more infrastructure. It helps you quite a bit. So everything is a bit smoother in my opinion. Yeah, in this game I also was a bit late. You typically should be able to go up to H3 at 7.30 and in this game I was at 8, which is a bit slower than usual. Um, but as I said, it's a pretty slow game. He's making Casadors and Dragoons and he's hesitant to move out. I mean, it's of course he is, because if I'm, if I'm going for Fortress Edge play, like I would send 5 Lancers. I would have out 10 rods and 5 lancers and 10 rods eat this army. So there's it would it would just be dead. Like if I catch him here, all his all his units are dead. So that's why he's a bit, he's a bit hesitant to move out and he's just going for the trading post. Okay, so in the transition, um you want to get the crossbowman with the uh, the veteran upgrade. So the politician which we are using is the the Papa Guard. It used to upgrade the veteran upgrade and the guard upgrade, like um but now it has it has been nerfed. So you have to upgrade veteran in all cases and the guard upgrade is heavily reduced. So the guard crossbow upman cra guard crossbowman upgrade is 3 basically and I typically go for for crossbows first and yeah so I think crossbows are generally more useful um, because even if he has calf he needs like 15 has to deal with my army then once I have 24 crossbows out and I al also always can use the dogs the dogs in H4 are pretty strong so these are very powerful units I also have my explorer to defend now and yeah, the explorer also has the sharpshoot ability which is pretty good so um, I can defend now so I had my waypoint at the wrong TC um, but with this army 29 crossbows on guard level they are pretty strong now so I can move out um, it might be a bit dangerous with only crossbow, but then again, I saw that he had uh, that he made dragoon and dragoons and cazadors, so I wasn't expecting some melee calf, so I just can go forward. Also, I even if he has melee calf, I still have my explorer. I can shoot one melee calf right immediately, and I can train my doggies, and the doggies hold them up good enough so my crossbow can finish them off. They are also doing do surprising amount of damage against Kev. Um, they are not as bad against Kev as skirmishers. So yeah, really that's what I'm doing. And now I'm preparing my switch for the pikemen. I also sent my four coverings just because I'm the only thing that's really dangerous for, for me, for my crossbows here is his cannons. Um, sadly I kind of wasted them already. So yeah with four coverings you should be able to do better than lose two and a half against two coverings. So that, that was pretty bad. But my doggies they, they clean up though. So it's fine. And now I can go forward. So with this build order and now you're in, a, in your safe space um, because the crossbowmen and the pikemen they are very cost efficient. Your economy is also surprisingly good with the Spanish gold. We also send five villagers. Um, don't forget your market upgrades. And I actually need to be on hunts. Um, but other than that, yeah, you are pretty powerful now. And as soon as the 24 pikemen arrive. Um, I'm also 
I'm also able to deal with the cavalry and, and with the buildings which might eventually come. And also, what's also really good and what you should always spam is the dogs. These dogs, they are so ridiculously strong for their cost. And they take so much damage. Um, so it's really good. I yeah, now my, my pikemen are here, they are also guard, so I should get a clean up. Um, he's, I think his micro is pretty good, all things considered. Um, it's very hard to disengage against so many pikemen. Maybe I should have continued to attack here. Um, but I figured I'm just ga gonna take the TC and take my lead. There's also the heavy cannons and I might be able to overpower them with my pike, but I'm also not feeling super confident under his TC. So that's why I'm just taking a house here. Maybe see if I can grab some villagers and just go back really. As I said, um, this build order is not all in, so I don't have to finish. You don't really run out of juice very quickly. Um, at this point, I could probably also add in a third Rex if my macro is a bit better. Yeah, and I, s I should also get the more wood upgrades. Let me just see what he has. Yeah, he actually doesn't have too many units, but because I don't see anything and my bad positioning, I'm really, really hesitant. So I, if I play it perfectly, I can probably finish it right here. Um, but then again, as I said, I don't feel in a hurry. And yeah, I'm just going to go forward. So what I do here now is I'm just going to use my heavy cannons to force an engagement basically. Now I see coverings. At this point I see I don't have coverings. Here's heavy cannons. I. I wanted to tr use my heavy cannons to trade against his cannons. So um, that's why I have to go back really. And at this point I think, okay, I saw all his units. He has basically only cannons and caçadors. So I should probably just make some lancers and then it's GG. Um, I also see his villagers here. So I just go back for a moment, get some Lancers, get the Breast Cavalry Curious upgrade. Initially I got um, the Arsenal because there's the upgrade for infantry, um, which increases the attack and I think also the ha HP of your crossbowmen and pikemen. Um, that's initially why I got the Arsenal, um, but because I transitioned into Lancers, I wanted to make them a bit more powerful, so that's what I did. And once I have my 20 Lancers, it's go time. And I mean, this is complete disaster for for every Portuguese player with that many Casadores. You don't ever want to see 20 Lancers against whatever amount of Casadores. Really, they I don't think like even 100 Casadores could be with 20 Lancers. Because they two shot them, they have extra, extra range resist, and just yeah, it's just a bad day to be a Casador, I guess. So that's basically the idea of this build order. Um, I could have probably also just stayed on crossbow pike and added caverns instead. That would have been also okay. Um, I'm just more confident in my calf micro than in my uh, than in my covering micro, so that's why I did that. Yeah, so we traded way better. Um, we gathered more resources because it was also quite a greedy build. Um, so yeah, just a very solid build order still. I. 
I don't think it's as broken as it used to be, but it's fun and that's really all that matters to me. It's a bit different. You get to see some pikemen and some crossbows and yeah. That's everything I have to say about this build order. Thanks for watching and see you guys around. Bye bye.